Now let me begin with talking about something that I don't see a lot of people talking about. If you look at the best and worst performing characters in both Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact, you see a very, very weird pattern. At the top here, you can see every single meta character that there is. And obviously, you know, it's the same characters at the top. And we have all these characters here as well. All these characters up here as well, obviously. But what you really have to notice is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there is a concerning pattern with characters that are considered, you know, like darker skin color than from different backgrounds. If you look at the bottom tiers, you can see characters like Kaya, Dia, and Jinyan, which are pretty much like the only, like, basically, like, dark colored characters in the entire game which isn't good in the slightest however so decided to make their power level so low and so insignificant that they are at the bottom tier of characters and don't get me wrong there is a lot of other characters here at the bottom tier but if you scroll up there really is not any darker or more diverse characters in the top you notice that as you scroll down you see dia jinyan kaya even Sethos, he's a new character as only he's all the way down here. So my point being is that Hoyoverse has chosen to make darker characters less powerful. And in that case, that means they're less used and they're obviously pulled for way less often. Of course, Dia is a standard banner character, being the only 5-star that is, you know, anywhere close to being dark, is in the standard banner and not even a limited character. Jinyan is a character that I think everyone forgot about because she's not in the game pretty much at all and her kit is pretty much like unusable i guess which is a terrible character she's a character with no screen time no fucking representation at all before i start this part of the video i want to give a massive shout out and thank you to the people who have been making people feel actually represented and making characters look like the way they're supposed to with artwork and their art skills because a lot of the art i've seen looks amazing and i really really appreciate people who do that because representation is really important whether people like it or not it is really important and i see it as very important so the artists out there i wish i could include your posts and i wish i could credit all of you that i've seen but uh i really can't right now so thank you very much for being good to the community and yeah let's go on also with this section i will cover the argument of well it's a fantasy game so why does it matter the reason this matters is because the way these characters are made and portrayed and the way these worlds are like made are actually of other real life places and regions and countries. There are real cultures that are being stolen and represented without the proper representing actually happening. It's to the point where Hoyoverse has been literally whitewashing actual Egyptian like deities, which obviously is extremely disrespectful to anyone up from that community and even disrespectful in general to anyone because that is just, it's just abhorrent. Why, why would anyone want that? Like. From the artwork I've seen of people being like represented properly the right way, characters genuinely look better because their clothing is like from that region. They genuinely look better with a darker skin tone from the artwork I've seen. But why doesn't Hoyoverse do it? I have no clue, man. And I really wish that people would feel like they could be represented the correct way and the culture is represented the right way because as the way it is right now, it is not being represented as good as it could and should. And I don't know if you've seen my TikTok recently, but if you have, I kind of like threw shots at the situation a little bit because I wanted to make this video, but I also wanted to talk about it before and obviously on a different platform. So if you haven't seen my TikTok account, please go follow it up and like that new video up. You'll know what it is just by seeing it. But in a nutshell, it's that Peter Griffin is darker than 95% of the Hoyoverse cast, including characters from Sumeru and Natlan. It is so bad. Now, under these comments, whether they're rage bait or not, a lot of the comments say, oh, why is it important? It's just a fantasy game. It doesn't matter. Now, the importance of representation doesn't go down only to ethnic or racial background it can also go down to representation of things like sexuality stuff just in that kind of nature that needs representation and kind of has been disbanded by media for example if you look at an advert of today and an advert of like 100 years ago maybe like before you notice that there is an absence of ethnic backgrounds ethnic things just in advertisements in general because back then media that involved ethnic backgrounds was really not pushed out as much and pretty much everyone in charge of the media sector were white people because people saw these topics as harmful and saw them as essentially not important to talk about now to a lot of people representation does not exist in media 
especially when it comes to talking about people of colored backgrounds because a lot of the time in games and movies and characters like that there really is a big lack of that ethnic diversity to it there's obviously exceptions but a lot of media right now does not really like include a lot of diversity in racial background or sexual background any of that if I must put it in these terms, a lot of media revolves around the stereotype of the American family, which is straight cisgender man, straight cisgender woman, and two children, right? Now, a hundred years ago, maybe ages ago, generations ago, this kind of content on its own was the most accepted and the most, like included in everything. But as time went on, diversity needed to become a really big, important part of media representation and culture due to the fact that a lot of people don't understand the background of some people and that diversity is not represented in media nowhere near well enough in my opinion anyways like diversity is not really like done in a lot of media and Genshin Impact unfortunately right now in my opinion is where it is included with the lack of having actual darker characters from like actual ethnic backgrounds is it's so shocking to me because the characters are actually from like these real life regions, like the real life regions inspire the regions in game, which is why it's kind of really important to get everything right about it and not to misrepresent a group of people. And funnily enough, this is an argument that people use. They're like, oh, well, skin color doesn't matter. They already include cultural food, cultural locations. Now, while they do include that, that shows that they are taking stuff from the culture without properly representing it. They're not just getting loosely inspired off a culture. They are taking food, they are doing analysis on what food comes from, what region and what food they should include, what locations they should include, what deities to represent, but they represent them so wrong. And unfortunately, there is a big case of whitewashing in Genshin right now. I hope it gets fixed. But moving on to the topic at hand, representation is important for a lot of people who don't get to experience that representation in the real world in themselves, where people don't feel like they're cared about, people think that they're different because they're from a different background. And this is why media like needs to be adapted and changed in order to help people feel comfortable being themselves and i don't get it genshin impact actually does a pretty good job at representing lgbtq backgrounds but why can't they do the same with race and ethnicity and culture that's what doesn't make any sense to me but one of the worst things in my opinion is you know how there are some npcs which are people of color right think about the group of people that are in the Sumeru desert that are people of color you think about the eremites right the most <laughs> a group of aggressive people who attack you when you go anywhere near them i'm not making this up they are made to be an aggressive enemy who camps out and want to attack you i'm not saying anything with that but do that as you will now inclusion and representation will always always be important and right now it is in a state where we are in the point where we need to adapt to that because we are kind of at the starting point of it we're not when they're like the middle or like you know finally finally starting to fully get accepting because there's a lot of media that still does not represent that and that is important and it is really important that media that even takes inspiration which is what Genshin did they took inspiration from one region in a real life place why don't they just represent it fully with darker skin tones which are actually accurate to the people that live there and not like some whitewashed up bullshit i'm gonna say it because it, it is Peter, like I said, Peter Griffin is darker than most of the Sumeria cast and Natlan cast. My point is that it is important to have representation in order to keep people, you know, included and feel like they're included in media. But if you're going to take a region and copy their culture over to your game, you have to take the liberty of representing them properly or else you're not doing it like the way you're supposed to. You're misrepresenting them and making them look white when they're not. Which is like extremely bad. It is really like, uh, it's disrespectful as fuck. But uh, there's a lot more that I could have covered, but I'm going to end the video here. And, and I hope that Genshin Impact will fix up. I don't really know if they will. I doubt it. Maybe in the future, but I doubt they will now. And I really, really do hope that something can ignite the spark for them to make the change. And hopefully we as a community can make them change. So if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, leave the video a like and follow my TikTok and my Twitch in the comments. And I hope you all just have a great day. Shout out to my artists.